Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Um, I'm the brother Shamashwan. Brother Shamwala. We will first off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahu Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. We want to send forth double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Um, Shalom, Wa Baraki, and La Bakari, peace and blessings to the elect. And Lord's will, this will be an edifying video. And uh, we're just meditating on the um, topic of how the Lord is going to return. And uh, just get a couple quick precepts. Lord's will, this is an edifying video. So I'm just going to start in Acts 1. And um, this is Acts chapter 1. And verse. Um, I saw that verse 8. It says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. All right, and this is the the disciples of, of Yahweh Shai. They were going to receive the Holy Spirit. They're going to receive power, and they're going to witness Yahweh Shai. And that's what they did two thousand years ago. Okay, but it says unto the uttermost part of the earth. All right, they're going to come back on the earth in these times, and they're going to do the same thing. All right, the, the prophets, the, the spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. All right, and like it says in Daniel, um, stand in that lot. All right, because the prophets will be coming back in the last days. All right, uh, before Yahweh Shah's return. Uh, I believe it also said it in Job as well. I also see my, uh, uh, my, my Savior, something along those lines, but it also mentioned it in Job. Right. Where it's not, but here's the point in the um, title in this Acts. It says the ascension, mm. and here's the point I want to uh, heart, uh, to focus on. It says, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Mm. All right, I'm gonna get a quick precept. We all know what a cloud is, but for the brothers that just that are new yeah. to the faith, it's the Book of Psalms, chapter um, 104. And verse 3, it reads, Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters. You can uh, put it on um, the yeah, airplane. This is uh, Psalms 104 and 3. It says, Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind. So in Acts, Yahweh Shah, he was actually beamed up into a chariot uh, while he was speaking to the disciples and his disciples beheld him. Verse 10, it says, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, Acts 1 and 10, he went up. Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Those two men in white apparel, those are the angels of the Lord. All right. It says, which also said, ye men of Galilee. Why stand you gazing up into heaven? The same Yahweh Shai which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. All right. And the same way Yahweh Shai left the earth is the same way Yahweh Shai is going to return onto the earth. All right. By way of the, the chariots or, or by way of the so-called UFOs, what people, people call today. Esau's calling them UAPs now. Okay. All right. And there's uh, plenty of scriptures to back that up. Um, one, I was thinking, as you were saying, the cloud, uh, the revelation, uh, the first chapter. God. Behold all eyes you see. Yep. Because I like, you know, like the, uh, the Shah said, man, like with with all of the different, um, you know, encounters that, you know, this that have been declassified, all of the different governments that are uh, bringing out this information. I mean, everybody has a, uh, uh, you know, cell phones with cameras on them, so it's been massive, mass sightings of these of these. Uh, these chariots or the, you know the vehicles in, in the heavens and bro the, they, it's the accounts are also written within the scriptures man you know these are the vehicles of the angels and it's going to be the same fashion okay that our lord is going to return we're going to get that in it was the second entrance the, uh, the 13th as well right about the massive you know chariot that he's going to return what you got bro? right this is revelation chapter one i'm gonna start at verse one because revelation just means to reveal that's right all right it's revelation one and one the revelation of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach because at the end of the day when we go out here and we preach preach this word what are we doing we're testifying of Yahweh Shah right. we're declaring Yahweh Shah the son of the heavenly father Yahweh onto the earth 
all right because the world they're ignorant of the lord they don't acknowledge the lord they don't consider the lord mm -hmm. all right and the lord he's going to come as a thief in the night and when he comes he's going to come in a in a glorious manner yeah. all right it says the revelation of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach, which the Heavenly Father gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So the things that we're about to get into, the things that we're about to uh, read and discover are things that are going to come to pass right. in the future. Yep. These are prophecies. Yep. All right. What the Lord said, I declared the end from the beginning. Uh, that's that's it, it, uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. You know, the Lord, he, 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 he spoke it. It was, it was written and it's going to come to pass. Right. Just as the rain. Yep. As the rain comes down from heaven and it plants the it, it, um, water, water if the the green herbs, yep. and it fulfills its work, so is the word of the Lord, man. That's right. All right. It says, and he sent and signified by his angel unto his servant John. All right. Yeah. So yeah, John, uh, John the Revelator, you know, on the island of Patmos, man. Right. Who was also in Acts one where it said, "You men of Galilee." He was one of those men that saw Yahweh Shai get delivered in the chariots. Yeah. All right. And when the angel said, look, this is how he's going to return. This is Revelation 1 and verse 7. It says, behold, he cometh with clouds. All right. Who's that he that cometh? That's Yahweh Shai. It says, and every eye shall see him. All right. And they also which pierced him. So, first of all, everyone's going to see the return of the Lord, man. Yeah. All right. And it says, them which pierced them, which proves reincarnation. We know because we've been in the faith for a while. That's a real basic thing, you know, but brothers, that's first coming in. It might sound um, strange, but there's something called reincarnation. Yeah. All right. When you go into the book of Ecclesiastes, it, it explains to you plainly, there's no new thing under the sun. That's right. All of us are on the earth. All of us dwell underneath the sun. None of us are new. We've all been here before. That's why I get reincarnation means back in the flesh. You know, that's just, it's just that simple. Right. Yes, and the men that pierced Yahweh Shai 2,000 years ago are going to be on the earth when he returns. Because Yahweh Shai is going to get vengeance. He's going to get revenge. Yeah. All right. The Lord said that what? Vengeance is in his heart. Yeah, the day of vengeance is right in his heart. Yeah. The day of vengeance, right? Yeah. It says, and all kindreds of the earth shall well. And the kindreds, kindreds goes back to the different nations. Yeah. Because all the nations are going to be in mourning. Why are they going to yeah. be in mourning? Because the Lord is going to be destroying the majority of the multitude of people on the earth. Yeah, yeah. And as well, in prior to the Lord's arrival, you know, the, the, that, that fire is going to be kindled. He's going to arrive in in, 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 a, in a season or time where, well, it's, it's, where it's a lot going on, man. A lot of anarchy, a lot of pandemonium, a lot of judgment is going to be already going out. But he's going to come and basically put the, put, put the cherry on the cake, so to speak, put the icing on the cake, you know. It's, it's, right. it's equivalent to what the, the same things as this place is known as it speaks about a revelation this place being spiritual Sodom and spiritual Egypt and what took place in Egypt when Masha was sent unto Pharaoh which the, the Pharaoh of this current world is who we saw Edom essentially and the elite you know the one percent of the international bankers right Masha was sent and told told him to let my people go and he did the, the Lord hardened his heart all right, and then what? The Lord brought a series of plagues onto that place, man, and judged it, and then delivered us out of it. And that's that's exactly what's about to take place. But the, the deliverance or the deliverer is going to be who? Yahweh Shai. He delivers. Okay. Right. And the fashion of what he's going to do, he's going to come back on that massive chariot and bring and bring the pain. Okay. Right. And not only is he going to come back in that massive chariot. Yeah. He's going to come back with a fleet That's of right. chariots. That's right. All right, because we're going to get it in, in Ezra. It talks about the thousands yep. of heaven. Yep. All right. It talks about the Lord of hosts. The word host mm. means yep. armies. Yep. And who is consists of the Lord's army? Yep. It's the a multitude innumerable of angels yep. whom the Lord travels with. And one of the angels that's going to be coming back with the Lord is Michael. When you read the book of Daniel. Yahweh, uh, Tazab, Tazab Awath. Yeah, Tazab Awath. Yup. Yeah, Sabaoth. Sabaoth. Yeah. Lord, Lord of hosts. Host. That's right. You know. The Lord is a man of war, man. He got right. his, he got his army, man. And he's going to. And he's essentially that's what the met. This is a declaration of war. What we do on the highways and the byways, and we heralding in the, the, uh, uh, our Lord and spreading this this message. 
bro, this is a declaration of war. We're letting, we're letting uh, 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 Esau eat him know. Listen, your time is if your time is, is is basically here. It's almost up, okay. And the right. Lord is coming to judge and make war at the end of the day, man. Right. I was, you know? I was listening to Apostle Ariam Lab, and he was saying what we're doing is we're um, sentencing, yeah. sentencing this uh, devil, but right. the Lord is going to bring yep. forth the judge, That's right. the judgment. Right. So right now we're just speaking, we're uttering it. But the physical manifestation of it is not going to occur until the Lord's return. That's right. I'm going to finish out this verse. It says, And all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or Amon. Yep. And we know that word amen is Amon in the Hebrew, which means it shall be done. So this is going to happen. There's nothing that can stop this from taking place. It's guaranteed. You know, um, I think we should end on second edges. I got a couple more scriptures. Yeah, yeah shoot them, bro. Yeah, um, I'm gonna get uh, Zechariah. Straight to the point. I'm gonna get Zechariah real quick. This is Zechariah chapter five, and look at the top of the title. It says a flying scroll. Mm -hmm. All right, because this is talking about the chariots of Israel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and it, and that scroll, bro. That's it's super spiritual. You brought that out as well because that account that kind of went, you know, uh, 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 viral amongst the body. About the encounter that he saw, you know, he basically gave a testimony of, about a about a chariot landing on a on a uh, 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 on a I believe it was like a military air base, something along those lines. And they seen, you know, so called you know uh, uh, big black men come out of there, all right, and line the ship. Or actually, when it landed, it created an earthquake. Landed men, you know, men, you know, so called you know big, you know, tall uh, uh, African American, which we know with Jake. Probably it really is the bro, it's the angels of the Lord came out, massive weapons, all right, and, and and they gave a testimony of that man. So we know it's many more different, many more accounts and many more things that have you know pretty much off of the books that are classified. You know they only declassify certain documents and they keep certain things you know from us. So these things are are happening real time, man. You know the Lord is definitely showing showing His hands, so to speak. You know, but right. you got it, bro. Yeah, and that aligns with Revelation as well. We just left it, but it mm -hmm. talks about Yahweh Shai, his feet was like onto a brass burnt, yeah. burned yeah. in the fire. That's right. Meaning he was, he is dark skinned, yeah. you know, and the angels are dark skinned as well. God. You know, so this is Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. And actually, the world's going to behold it. You know, they're going to yeah. see that the Lord was a, is a so called black man. Yeah. You know, it says, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Hey, bro, just to add to that, and the, the, uh, the Raash Kassab made a beautiful point on that curse, because you got to think about it. These chariots. As as Esau Edom is is building, you know, his military. As he's even for 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 years, man, you know, for for, for centuries, they have observed these things. And what they've done, they've been building, you know, they've been uh, 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 building all different types of weapons, different types of aircrafts, and they're wa and they're watching the the chariots watch them. And, and in the midst of them building and coming on a level to, you know, when, in, in reference to power, they're seeing these craft do all of these different things that really and truly they know they are, are, are not a, 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 a match. A, no, no match. There's no comparison when it comes to power that they've already seen. And they got the thing is that they got these things on video and documented this, these uh, this, the evidence of this. So right. that is a curse, man. Right. That's a curse to watch that, man. Watching yeah. this, y'all sitting in, in their little offices, and your stomach turning, not knowing how to deal with this with this phenomenon. Right. Okay. Yep. The chariots, they they um can dematerialize oh, and materialize. Yep. They can just they don't make sharp. They don't. look, man. The Lord is far out there. Bro, we traveling at speeds and can and can stop abruptly. They right. can shrink in size. Okay. Expand in size. Like you said, phase in and out of of, of, of of this reality. You know, like you said, dematerial dematerialize, materialize, pass, you know, pass through objects. This these things where these vehicles are, they they 
they've seen the little the little bit that they've seen they just they it's just too much for them to deal with right but what about what they haven't seen you know what i'm saying yep and uh it's the power of the lord man Shit, so bro. it's up. something that we can't even we're all going to bear witness to yep. this you know that's right and fear and give power and glory to the lord you that's know that's right Let's just finish this out real quick. Verse 3, it says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth because the chariots are going to cover the entire heavens. Yep. You know? There's going to be so many chariots. It's going to block out. It's going to be dark. It's actually going to be physically dark. And um, all eyes are going to see the chariots, man. Yep. You know? And they're going to... The chariot, Yahweh Shah is going to come on. It's going to be huge. Yep. It says, um, It says, For everyone that steal it, Shall be cut off as on this side According to it And Esau stole Israel yep. You know in the law it says that If, 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 if anyone steal the man yep. And he be found in his hand He shall be put to death that's right. So that's what the Lord's coming to do Because we're found We're going to be found in this devil's hand And the Lord's going to come and put this devil to death The apple of the most high's eye <laughs> Right You're going to be found with, with, with them in your hand Right it says, and everyone that sweareth shall be uh, shall be cut off as on that side, according to it. You got any? I got like two more. Just shoot yours, yeah. Yeah, All right, this is uh, Matthew chapter twenty-four and verse. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> the title is the glorious return. Mm -hmm. All right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start at verse twenty-six. 25. Behold, I have told you before. This is Yahweh Shah warning us. It says, Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. And you know, it's amazing. We actually encountered a wicked bug out within the past month or so. Yep. You know, that proclaiming to be Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. I mean, crazy. it's super blasphemous. But well, there's actually bug outs out here walking on the earth with no power, feeble and weak. We can knock them out, proclaiming to be the Lord himself. Yeah, you know, it's absolutely crazy. And, and that's why the scriptures say, believe it not. All right, because there's a particular manner in which the Lord is coming in this time. He's not coming like yeah, a man like yeah. he did thousands of years ago. He's coming like a power. He's coming like a roaring lion. Yeah, yeah. Verse, see him in his glory. Go right. On. Verse 27, it says, for as the lighting cometh out of the east... And shineth even unto the west Because when the sun rises The sun The light comes from the east yeah. All the way over to the that's west right. It says So shall also the coming of the son of man be And that's how the Lord is going to return yeah. He's going to gather his elect From the four corners of the earth He's going to start all the way over from the east And he's going to make his way over to the last stop Which is Babylon the Great yeah. The west Bro, yep. and, and that's why it's important That's why the scriptures talk about Blessed is he that readeth Because we understand the capability that Esau has when you get into Project Blue Beams, you know, them them having the ability, you know, to stage certain events, use holo, holo, uh, holograms, okay? Because they can very well, very well, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, stage something. But the thing is, is the Lord already told you how he was going to come. So however, however they present it, it's like, hey, look, that's not according to prophecy. Okay, so if he tell, if they tell you here, go here, go there, like the scriptures just said, we know good and goddamn well. Oh, that ain't it. You know That's right That's why the scriptures say Wisdom and knowledge Shall be the stability Of thy times That's right And strength of salvation The Lord The fear of the Lord Is his treasure That's right You know We're not gonna be deceived But the world's gonna be Out here panicking Alright Because what They didn't take this opportunity yep. To come close to the Lord And that's what we're doing Yeah We're gathering up Instruction in our youth We're gathering up Instruction now That's right Alright Verse 28 It says For whosoever it says, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And we're talking about the confusion that this place is going to be in. Mm -hmm. All right, wisdom and knowledge is not going to be in the land. These people are going to be running around yeah. with their heads chopped off. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and that process has begun, man. I did a video this morning. It's the, the uh, you know, every was, was, was kind of the, the, uh, the topic. Of the of the week, you know, going into the you know the market of beasts and it's the whole central you know the CBDC, the central bank digital currency, and them about to roll out this system that's gonna that's going to uh, uh, you know work in tandem with with that with the uh, uh, the mark, okay, and when they start issuing this stuff out, man, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna be taking place, 
and it's gonna all it's gonna be a trickle effect all the way until the until until the, the, the second coming of the Lord, man. You know, and it's gonna be fucking it's gonna be crazy out here. It's going to be crazy out here, man. You know, just getting into the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, what is that? Daniel's twelve and one, and it's yep. man. You know, second Ezra's fifteen or you know, sixteen. Right. It's about to be lit out here, man. But it's all for the, the till for the climax, which is going to be the uh, the returning of our Lord, man. Right. You know, that's why it says immediately after the tribulation, because yep. that's right. Like the brothers going into, we didn't even speak about the hell on <laughs> yeah. earth exactly. before the Lord comes. Yep. You know. And that's why you when you read in what is that Mark thirteen Matthew twenty four when he when the Lord says these are the, these are the beginning of the sorrows right you see the wars the rumors of the wars earthquakes in diverse places okay yeah and the uh, Lord go ahead Salak Salak you bro the Lord even says before it says these are the beginning of sorrows he says yeah. see that you be not troubled yeah for these things must come they gotta come so all this hell has to come. But this hell is going to come for our sake. That's right. To get us to the glory, which is the kingdom of heaven. Bro, and that's why it's compared to a woman. That's why when the Lord compares the, the time frame that we're in, it's, it's these labor pains that about to t that are taking place right now. But then that, that baby has to come. You know, right. but right before the baby gets here, that's some of the worst pain that a woman goes through. Sorrow. Okay? It's a lot of sorrow, man. And then the baby, and then that beauty, you know, comes, man. You know? Then, the, then you... You forget about the pain you, you suffer because the right. baby's right there, you know? Yep. That That's goes, why. Oh, it's a lot. No, I was going to say, Yahweh Shah is going to wipe our tears. Yeah, yeah. Come. You know? We're going to go through this hell. Yeah. You know? Right. But when we're going to get to the kingdom, everything's going to be all right. It's going to be well worth it. Yeah. You know? That's right. It says, um, it says, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Verse 30, it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, mm -hmm. and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. This links perfectly with Revelation, the first chapter. Everyone's yeah. going to be in, in a state of mourning yeah. at Yahushua's coming. It's not going to be this happy-go-lucky, everybody rejoicing type of thing. The scriptures uh, say, Woe unto you that desire the day, the day of the, the Lord. Lord. Yeah. For what end is it to you? The day of dark is the day of the Lord is a day of darkness, man. Yeah. That's right. You know? It's, uh, now go ahead, brother. It says, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So that's how the Lord's going to come. He's going to come with the clouds of heaven, those chariots. And he's going to come in a glorious manner, in a glorious fashion, with great power, man. Right? It's like a trumpet sound. <laughs> right? That's in the next verse. It says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the earth uh, uh, to the other and that's what we want to be a part of yeah. we want to be a part of the elect yeah, that call me out Allah man that rise Israel you know? right you don't want to be left here because when you bro, you see them chariots right bro when you see them chariots and you see the elect which is what he said the scripture said uh, they should be brought through the fire bro when they see them chariots and you see what's coming next is them ICBMs man them arrows are going to be shot over, okay? And, right. and the elect are going to be uh, saved and delivered out of it, man. You know? Right. Go ahead, bro. All right, just going to get the second as 13, just close up on that. Okay. All right, second as 13, there's a lot of meat in it. We're just going to get a couple verses, you know? Yeah, we'll have to read the whole thing. This is second as 13, verse 3. It says, And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And you know, we know who that man is. Mm -hmm. That's was shot. Who are the thousands of heaven? That's the angels. And how are the angels going to arrive? By way of those chariots. It says, and when he turned his countenance to look. Actually, you know, let me read verse 2. It says, and lo, there rose a wind from the sea that moved all the ways thereof. And that sea goes back to um, Yum, which means sea, or my Yum, which means water. But Shemayim, which means pertaining to the water, so which is the heavens. Yeah. So that sea is actually talking about the heavens, because the Lord's coming from the heavens. Yeah. He All right. Coming out of the, the Atlantic fucking like ocean, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Fucking yep. like Pacific Ocean. That's that's incorrect, man. Yeah, that's bugged out. Yeah. You know? It says, Now beheld and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, and when he turned his countenance to look, yeah. all the things trembled that were seen under him. And why did 
the things tremble that were seen under him because fire was coming out of the, the that was under him. Yeah. The chariots were destroying everything that came underneath it. Uh, a big, uh, well, good accounted as water. The apostles always bring that out. War of the worlds. Right. You see when them when that, that tripod came out in the beginning scene, and they sounded them 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 trumpets, and they start shooting out them lasers that which is concentrated fire. They started dehydrating motherfuckers, man. Start turning people into dust. That's how hot. You know, that's how hot uh, uh, that uh, that flame was, you know? Right. Verse 4 says, And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it faileth the fire. So, like the brother just went into, that's eventually what that scripture says. That's right. You know? <laughs> Fire's going to be coming out of these chariots. It says, And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of, out of number, from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. And that's when all right, the nations are gathered together in the, in the valley and they're going to stop fighting. They're going to put their swords down and stop fighting one another. And they're going to join together to, to come up against the Lord like fools. And it, and it, or did you, it's going to harden their heart. Go ahead. No, slug you, bro. Nah, is it, did you just read that? No, nah, I didn't read that. Oh, yeah, yeah go ahead and read it. But they're going to get obliterated. Yeah. Like, no, it's that. Just, bro, it's no new thing underneath the sun. The right. Lord is this this account it took place. Right. You know? But it's gonna be in a greater fashion this time around. So much so that it ain't gonna be the exodus, you know, that took place in Egypt is not gonna be spoken about anymore. As it's right. written in uh is that Jeremiah 16? Yep, Jeremiah 16. And uh yep. this also happened during the Tower of Babel. Yep, during the Tower of Babel, exactly. You know, these the heathen tried to join together and because the, they knew about the story of the flood, they're like, look, we're gonna build a tower so high that a flood couldn't even take it down. Yeah. You know, and that's why the scriptures say, why the heathen rage and imagine a vent? These heathen are like spit. They're nothing, man. And they, now we'll say they don't learn from their, their lessons. You know, yeah. not only is history written for our sake to learn from, it's for their sake too. You know? Hell yeah. That's what Sirach the Tim Chapter says what it says. Why is earth and, earth and ashes proud, man? The pride was not pride was not made for man, as it states in there as well. Right. And then that's why it says in Ob the, uh, the book of Obadiah, that's what he said, if it, uh, for thy pride has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. That's you know, right. Because you're the proudest man on, on earth. So that yeah. ultimately that vibration or that spirit is what you're pushing forth from these fucking peons, man. You know, but you're about to learn your lesson. That's Everybody's right. gonna see. Everybody's gonna know. You know, everybody gonna fucking bow down. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Who the, who the true power is, man, you know? And right. it ain't gonna be by asking you to please. No, it's gonna be, it's gonna make you submit, okay? You're gonna make, you're gonna be made to submit. You're gonna know what power is, man. That's you right. Know? Motherfuckers fear these goddamn devils as if they're some type of the, the, the top or yeah, true authority in the earth. <laughs> you you gonna learn today. <laughs> you right. gonna learn that day, I'll just say that. That's right. You know? Verse six, it says, but I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. So Ezra talked about how the Lord's chariot that he's going to return on is like a mountain. That's how huge it is. It says, but I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven and I could not. All right, because it actually wasn't a mountain. It was a chariot. Verse 8, it says, and after this I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid and yet durst fight. Not, it's not that a familiar familiar account. Who else who heart who else heart did he harden? Pharaoh, man. That's right. He made him do that. So that 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 scratches that uh, 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 um, that doctrine of free will. You don't got no free will. You gonna do, you, bro. You were basically like the pastor say you a meat puppet, man. You got strings attached to you. All right. And the Lord is gonna force you to do it. He like, bro, you ain't, ain't not, no. You gonna put up a fight. You gonna make put your put, stand up like a man. And, and I'm a, and I'm a, and put the gloves on and you go fucking fight, man. You know you gonna put on a show. Cause all of this is a show for the heavenly. This is a, the Lord's movie, okay? Right. And we're at the climax of it. You know. Right. Hey, bro. I'm gonna read these last three eloquent verses, God, so brother. poetically written, <laughs> and we're gonna close it on that. All right. God, this is verse nine. It says, "And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand." Ooh. Nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. Yeah. 
So the Lord, the damage that the Lord is going to do is effortless. Here it is. You see these heathen bring their best shot <laughs> and then not do nothing. The Lord's going to sit there half asleep and bring forth this destruction, yeah, right? Man, that's right? Verse 10, it says, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongues he cast out sparks and tempests again the laser beams man so you can understand it in layman's terms yeah. hot fire hot fire out the chariots <laughs> hot fire right verse 11 it says and they were all mixed together the blast of fire the flaming breath and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burned them up every one so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived ah, here what do you say guys fatality nah bro Perfect. hey <laughs> That's yeah what it is. hey here it is the lord said what it was an innumerable multitude yeah. Suddenly, yeah. nothing was to be perceived. It went from uh, innumerable <laughs> to there was nothing left bro, but you, dust. You got to think about it. Was the, the third woe, bro? The third war's war is going to be taking place. So, right. in the midst of these, in the midst of these troops battling and fighting each other, they're going to see the Lord and they're going to turn and fight the Lord. So it's going to be, uh, bro. It's going to be basically the whole earth versus the Lord, right? And all its troops. You the 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 the, uh, the Russians, you the the uh, which uh, 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 Edom, Moab, Ammon, okay, Ishmael, okay, all every last one of them, and they gonna be all left, left in dust. Man, I gotta read that one more time. God, we need to we need to please say, we need to put some tunes behind that because that's a beautiful song. This is the gospel right here, bro. Yep. This is the gospel right here. This is what we out here preaching to Israel, man. Knowing that your power, your savior, man, is bro, he ain't forget you. He got he look, he got you. He yeah. got us. You know, we just gotta believe and trust in him, man. And if you, you wanna rock go. with the enemy, yeah. you gonna receive the fate yep. of the enemy. Though yep. hand joined yep. hand, yep. the wicked shall not go and punish. This right here has to come to pass. That's right. Alright, and see that you're gonna be on the side of redemption or you're gonna be on the side of destruction, man. That's right. It says, it says, um, um, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. So Ezra, who was far more mentally strong and tough and lived in a, he was just stronger than how we are in this day and age, saw this and was afraid. How much more are the people that are going to be caught up in this prophecy? You know? Through. But yeah, I believe the poem was made. Yeah, um, Lord's word was edifying. Call her law. Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well and who taught us this faith, this truth. Shalom wa barakim la Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.